Wow, so this is a quick video how you can set up the Flare testnet. So it's quite simple. So the first thing you have to do is go to MetaMask and install the browser extension. So just go to MetaMask IO and then you can install the browser extension for either Chrome, Firefox, Brave or Edge. And so download install the browser extension and then you get the fox in the right co corner there. So the next thing I will be doing is then afterwards I'm rather connected to the Ethereum network, but we will have to connect to the uh a customer PC, so we click on a customer PC, then enter the network name, which is basically um right, so oh my bad, no, I meant like my bad. We will go to the to custom testnet, but oh it's not in there, no, we still have to add it. So we will go to custom uh, uh custom network, so the asset code, uh so the RPC endpoint is that one here. So um right, so we'll go there and copy the RPC endpoint, so We'll go to customer PC. So we want the network name. We can call it whatever we want, but we will call it custom testnet. Then the RPC URL is that one here. I will remove the HTTPS. Oh no, my bad. It's fine, right? So uh, there was maybe space something like that in there. So copy that in there. Then the chain ID, as we can see here, is 16. Then the currency symbol. We will add um, C CFLR. CFLR. And we can also add the blockchain explorer, so I will not left click because otherwise we will lose the input. I will just copy it by hand. Explorer at dot flare dot flare dot network. So afterwards we click on save and we've got here the custom testnet. So now I am so close it here. So now I'm connected to custom testnet. So it's say not connected, but we're right now basically we've got the custom tested here. Then I've got the count ID here and we go to Toho Labs. Toho Labs has a flare custom faucet and it will just add, add, uh, enter my address here, request some flare and now we'll just wait a few seconds and yep they're already there. I've got 100 C flare now. Also uh, on the cost, co I think the C is for custom on flare. So right so now I am basically all set up for uh, so on the tester, so like I said, this is not the real net, but it's the test net. And there's also a, a the cost explorer, so you can kind of just look up what is happening currently. You can see here that nine seconds ago there was a contract call, um, so some C flare, so the transaction fee was whatever. And uh, we can just click the block quickly and see what happened here. So, or maybe not, but let's see. So somebody sent to somebody else some C flare, I guess. So. Maybe, <laughs> um, right? We can also look at token transfers to uh, for uh, for example. Um, what what is it going on here? For example, we can see uh, that okay, this is an outgoing transaction. So from this address to that one here, and uh, we can't see the contract right now. But okay, we could one twenty C flare in this case. 200 C flare and so on. Uh, we can also see uh, the other tokenist assets quickly if we go again to the main to the main page here. And go to maybe we will see it down here. Uh, I also just have to, to get used to it a little bit more, so sorry for all the mistakes. Uh, or we'll go to transactions, let's do it that way then to the validated transactions and go through. Um, so we've got C flare, C flare, because there are also all the other tokenist assets, but uh, we'll just click on anything here. Maybe we can go to any address now. And maybe I can see it afterwards then. So I just have to get used to all the files. Yeah, right. So we can also see the other to tokens. If, for example, see there is an account, we can see the Aura stablecoin. So we can see that there, yeah, right, it's Aura, it's Aura stablecoin. We can see there's a trust name for TCN. And so, yeah, so we can kind of just look up what all the other tokens are there and what's ha going on basically here. So, yes, here we can see it. So, we can see here why Flare, we can see FXRP, we can see uh, F ADA, so Flare ADA, F uh, Flare Algo, Flare Doge, and so we can see all the tokens here, which, are, which will also run on the mainnet afterwards. And see, for example, that we've got 358 holders on the testnet of FXRP. So let's just click on that address. So we can uh, determine the contract here. But we can see, for example, can we see here anything interesting or of interest to us? Like, let's see, so from that address, Right, so, but it's basically, so So the main thing I wanted to highlight here is so we can see we're connected to cost and test that. Well, let's see what happens when we click main it. Probably nothing, yeah. 
But still, we connect to the tester, we can just look it up a little bit. And now we can also look up my address. Because like I said, it's MetaMask here, we'll just copy that here. Uh, maybe we can also look up an address, can I? Oh, it will just click on an address here and then copy and paste my address in that part there. Let's see. Yep, and there's also my address. So you can see here my address on the testnet. So I'm gonna I hold now I'm now a proud holder of 100 at uh, C Flare. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.